Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Alexander, how are you? Bye. Yeah, you're fine? Good. All right, that's nice. How was your day today at work? Everything okay? Everything was okay, Alexander, at work, yes? I am at work. Okay, all right, very nice. Elvir, hi. Good evening. What happened uh, to you yesterday? I'm busy, sorry. Okay, all right, very good. But you're here. <laughs> all right, that's yes. nice. very good. Excellent. Hi, Johnny, how was your day today? Um, so so teacher. Why, Johnny? Why was it a so so day? Why because not? because three uh -huh. teacher are sick. Uh, yes, positive. Yes. Oh yeah. I can imagine, Johnny. Yes, and I think uh -huh. me too. <gasps> no, Johnny. Why? You feel bad? Yes, so so. Hi, Johnny. All right. Now, are you going to school every day? Uh, from Monday to Thursday. Okay. And Friday? Uh, virtual. Everybody? Yes. But from Monday through Thursday, everybody is presencial. Yes. Wow. All right. That's a big risk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Well, I hope you feel better, Johnny, and hopefully it's not going to be. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah, COVID. Very good. Hi, Maritza. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just a little tired. I've had many classes today, but yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Yes, very good. Um, Maritza, do you work every day? Like, do you go to your office every day? Yeah. Every day. Every day. And not many people are positive, COVID positive in your office. No. Um, hay bastantes. Okay. Many um, cases? Muchos incapacitados, aislados. Okay. This week? Yeah. All right. Well, we need to keep safe. All right. Sorry. Very nice. I said we need to keep safe. Okay. All right. Very good. Just give me a second, guys. All right, very good. Daniel, hi, Daniel. I can see you with Carlos Alberto also. Very good. Nancy, hi, Edwin, Trini, and Mariano. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm hi. I'm hi. Okay, very nice, Nancy. That's great to hear. All right, guys. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about would be and could be. Uh, some model verbs and they express some future references. All right, so I'm gonna just open up my book here and then we can talk about. So I remember that yesterday we were working on this. Y ahí nos quedamos que les dije que lo, lo teníamos que resolver. All right, for number four and number five. All right. So let's try to do this together. I'm just going to give you one or two minutes. Think about it. 
and then we can discuss what you have, okay? Think about the possible options for number four and number five. The number four, number four. Yeah, I'm just giving some time so you guys can think about number four and number five, Alexander. So I'm gonna ask in one minute. Uh, I don't know. I go auction weekends all will, will be, I had to start happy. Tell me again, um, Alexander. Dictemela ahí, porfa. A good, a good auction. A good auction. Weekends. Weekends. Weekend off. Uh, World be. Uh, I have to stay happy. I have to stay happy. Stuff happy. I have, I have uh, to uh, stuff. Uh, after B would be a what? I have, have. Uh huh. Stuff. Stuff happy. All right. Okay. Any other choices? Is it like tenemos ahorita? Any other choices, guys? Let's let's discuss this one. Uh, teacher, uh, one yes. question. Yes. Uh, what the sample is this or the exercise number page? The page number is, hold on, I need to move this. Whoa, you cannot scroll it down. It's on page uh, 12. Page okay. 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. All right, any other options, guys, for number four? We were stuck on four yesterday. Let's get Anna stuck today. Okay, teacher, I got a one different about it. Uh-huh, tell me. I just have like that. We cannot. Give me a second, give me a second, Ever, please. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, Ever, tell me please. Uh huh. Okay, we can off. Weekends off. Would be. Uh huh. Uh, a good option. Yes. To have. A happy staff. Uh, weekend soft would be a good option to have. Happy staff. Uh, happy staff. Yes. Okay. All right. Weekends off would be a good option to have happy staff. Ah, that's that's sounding good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else has another alternative? And then we can discuss about it.
Worldly object. Anybody else or no, guys? What do you guys think? More alternatives? Solo tenemos dos hasta ahorita. Anybody else wants to say any other option? Mariano, any options, Mariano? Teacher. Yes. Eh, ahí le falta una A. Ah, la segunda opción. En la segunda opción que le dijo él, dijo to have, to have a happy staff. Ah, muchas gracias. Thank you, Jasmine. Very good. A weekend so would be a good option to have a happy staff. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? I don't know, maybe Johnny or Maritza, Edwin, any other choices mm -hmm. that you may think of? Marco, Carlos, o Alberto, Daniel. I am confused. <laughs> Marlon, Trini, Nancy, Jorge, no, nobody? Nos quedamos con esas dos entonces. Sorry, I lost in the, this class. Uh, in this moment, my, <laughs> my head is the other. It's spinning. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Elvir, very good. No, don't worry about it. Yesterday we were talking about the use of would be and could be, okay? Yes, and I, see, trying... I see the lesson, but uh, <laughs> I need more information. Yes, <laughs> I need right, refresh yeah. my, my mind. Yes, okay. of course. Remember that these are modal verbs, all right? And we need, um, we need a subject and then we need the use of would be uh, or could be and then the rest of the sentence. All right, so in this context, okay. um, Ever told us that weekends off is the subject, and then it would be would be. So weekends off would be, and then the rest of the sentence in order for it to make sense. And I'm asking, do you think that one makes sense? Or do you think the first one makes sense? Or if you have any other way of writing it. Tell me. All right. Vamos a dejar estas dos ahorita aquí. Lo voy a poner acá arriba. Hagamos la cinco and then we go back to number four. But you know what? Wait, I'm going to take attendance right now. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take attendance right now, solo que si sí, me quito voy a mover eso, o sea que no voy a, los voy a, a poner la asistencia ahorita, pero eh, no los voy a ver, así es que me dicen present, please. Uh, Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fa thank you. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. I am here. José Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Carla Benazir Lara González. Uh -huh. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Good evening. Mar Maritza Alcira um, Castellón Celaya. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Nancy? Nancy no está por ahí. All right. Jonathan Alexander. 
Present. Yes, thank you, Jonathan. Ahí está ya. All right. A ver, me quedé en Nancy, no está. Romeo, Alexis, Rodríguez, Joaquín. Jasmine, Melanie, Lemus, Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Marlon, Alberto, Cardona, Valencia. Present. Carlos, Eduardo, Melgar, Rivas. Present, teacher. Mariano, José, Paca, Santa María. Present, teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Victoria, hi. Amícar Cañengues Aceituno. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so. Let's keep on talking about number five. What are the possibilities for number five? Que me ayuda with number five? Hi, teacher. Okay, tell me. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Maria could be? Of? Uh -huh. Great help. In, in the inventory department. All right, yeah, sounds good to me, very good. All right, anybody else? Uh, I do. Uh -huh, tell me. Tell me, huh? okay. Igual la tengo. Igual la tiene, excelente, all yeah. right, very nice. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, so number four, I think it would be the best way to go about this one is whatever told us. Ahí se me movió por la cuestión de eh, que moví el mouse y ya no lo puedo volver a, a, a escribir. Pero dice, weekends off would be a good idea. No, option. Option, thank you. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Yes, that, that's correct, okay? So it's the one that it's here. Ya no la puedo Did poner. You? Teacher, esa es la correcta. Sí. Eh, es porque en la, plata, en la plataforma no me salen bien. No le sale bien cuál. La ya, pre, ya, me, ya metí esa así como hasta ahí, no, no me salió. De verdad. Y ha puesto sí. las mayúsculas, ha puesto punto y esas cosas, Alexander. Sí, igual la última, igual la hice, no sé si está correcta la número 5. Perdón. Maria could no, be no, of great help in the inventory department. Sí. A mí sí me aceptó. Esta, esta que ha puesto aquí abajo. La sí. cinco, Maritza, ¿sí? Sí. All right. Y le puso punto final en la plataforma. Sí. Ok, sí, póngale punto. Con... All right, póngale punto final. Puede hacer que por eso no. María, asegúrese que sea mayúscula. All right. A veces es por error de dedo, ¿verdad? Ya sea una, una mayúscula, un punto o algo que no nos lo agarra. Oh, ok. ¿Se la agarra, Alexander? Eh, permítanme. No tengo mal escrito una cosa. Ah, ok. All right. Very good. Ah, aquí está abajo, ve. Ya la vi. <laughs> All right. So it would be this one. Ok. Bueno. All right, guys, so we're going to continue here then. I'm just gonna erase this one. All right, okay. So here it says, prepare. It says, prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to a new company if you had the opportunity to work in it, okay? A ver. All right, we're going to work on this right now, guys. Um, I think I remember, a ver, I think I remember all the companies or the positions, not the companies that I told you about last time. A ver, había un teacher, una posición de teacher la vez pasada, it was a doctor, un... Driver. Excuse me? 
A driver. A driver, yes. All right. It was a call center agent, right? Sales executive. Okay, thank you. That's great. Hold on. A sales executive. ¿Qué más teníamos? Reception. Yes, sales executive. Reception. Call center agent. Yes, I have that one. Analyst. Credit analyst, right? Sorry. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we were seven last, last class. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Okay, so what are you going to do about this today? I'm gonna to tell you again, lo más probable que le quede otra eh, job position, all right? It doesn't matter. Maybe last time you had teacher and now you're going to have receptionist. It doesn't matter. What I want you to work on right now is with this job that I'm assigning to you, okay? Now, what is the difference, all right? Now, today you're not gonna talk about the requirements. Today the question is why or what are the benefits you will bring to this company if you work in if you become the driver of the company, what is your benefit? What can you bring as a benefit to this company, all right? So the other person is gonna say, ah, okay, I think one of the benefits that I could bring to the company is this, 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 and this. I want you to use could, um, could or would be, all right? in your um, presentation here, all right? That's what we're going to be working on right now. I want you to work thinking about the benefits you guys can bring to the company, okay? Lo pueden hacer like a group, no necesariamente, I don't wanna hear a conversation. I'm not asking for a conversation. I'm asking to explain to me when you come back why you guys, for example, Marlon, Trini, and Nancy están aplicando for the same um, position, ¿verdad? Y cada quien puede decir, ah, bueno, yo, los beneficios que yo traje, tra puedo traer a la empresa o a esta compañía a través de la, el puesto de sales ex executive is this, 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 and this, all right? Y entre todos sacan como un, eh, un, conglomerado de, de beneficios that you can bring to the company through this new position, okay? Yes? Hold on, guys. All right, so that's what we're going to be working on. Voy a abrir grupos, and I'm going to be telling you uh, what is your job position that you are going to bring, which benefits are you going to bring to the company okay just give me a second here all right cada grupo va a ser de tres entonces entre los tres ustedes piensan en los beneficios que pueden aportar a la empresa a través de este nuevo eh, trabajo all right si ustedes si a usted lo contratan a ustedes los contratan como los profesores ¿Cuáles serían los beneficios que usted va a traer al colegio, a la universidad, a la escuela donde usted esté aplicando? Eso es, obviamente, we're making it up, all right? Ahorita asigno, ahorita asigno los, uh, las profesiones. A ver, en el grupo 1, donde va Gilmar, Gilmar, apunte ahí. You are the teacher now. Group number 2, Trini, apúntelo usted ahí. Usted, eh, con los que entren a su uh, sala, doctor. Eh, sala 3, um, Johnny, Credit Analyst, Carlos Eduardo, uh, you're a receptionist, todos ustedes, Domingo Alexander, you are the driver, Carlos Alberto, you are the sales executive. Receptionist no lo tiene nadie, ¿verdad? No? Mi teacher. The group number four. Okay. Mi teacher. Okay, okay. Entonces, Daniel, el grupo de, de, de Daniel, uh, you are a teacher. 
Teacher, ya está en el grupo uno. Ok. Ya está doctor, ya está teacher, ya está driver. Yes. Call center and agent. And reception. Call center agent no estaba dado. No, eso no. A ver, no, entonces Daniel, Daniel, el grupo de usted entonces es call center agent de cobros. Ok. All right, so what are the benefits? Obviamente, como ya hemos hecho como una lluvia de ideas de las de los um, qualifications que ustedes tienen, entonces esas pónganlas en práctica para decir, bueno, mire, como yo hablo tres idiomas, entonces uno de los beneficios para ser un call, um, call center agent is that I can talk to many people in different countries. All right, because I speak three languages. All right, entonces ponemos, hablamos un poquito de lo que ya hemos visto de las qualifications, de las cosas que pueden hacer y con eso el beneficio that you bring to the company. All right, I'm going to open up groups right now, guys. Mascarilla aquí, aquí, aquí. Ay, sí, teacher. teacher. Mire, les digo yo que me voy a poner mascarilla aquí, 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 por todos lados. ¿Por qué, Vicky? ¿Qué le pasó? No, por el COVID, por cómo ah, está. Sí. <risa> igual yo. Horrible. Horrible, no se preocupe, igual yo. <risa> yo, pensé, yo pensé que era gripe, le digo a Vicky. ¿Y quién teacher. usted tiene? ¿Usted, ¿Usted está enfermo, Carlos? No, no, no. Ah. No escucho. El jefe, teacher. Ah. Jorge no se escucha. Creo que Jorge se congeló. No All right. Uh, Vicky me llamó. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, teacher, para que nos repitiera la profesión. Es que Carlos dice que le escuchó Excel Executive, pero no estamos seguros. Ah, Sales Executive. Ejecutivo o sea, de ventas. Ejecutivo de ventas. Sí. Seo, uh, seo. De cualquier tipo de ventas. Sí, usted, ahí solo dije yo Sales Executive. ¿De qué tipo de ventas? Lo que ustedes quieran. <risa> okay. Ahí está. Bye. Bye. Eso era, teacher. Gracias. Bueno, bueno, ya saben. Gracias, gracias. Cell Ejecutivo. Era.
Vaya, entonces dijo que hiciéramos un listado de qué podemos aportar como ah, ejecutivo de ventas. Exactamente. ¿Ejecutivo de qué? De ejecutivo ventas. de ventas. Jasmine, ya la envié a su grupo.
este Jorge, perdóneme, dígame. Se salió. Jorge, no le escucho. Oh, disculpe. Sí, por favor, me sacó la conexión. <risa> de Vicky estaba, por favor. Vaya, ahorita. Uh, estaban en el grupo 6, no ¿verdad? Problema. Vicky sí. y Juan. Sí, ya lo, ya lo vi que no se preocupe, ahorita voy. Gracias.
All right, Jonathan, did you get some benefits for your group? Um, your benefit is fast and a little girl driver. Okay, your position was driver. Yeah, uh, I will not have a problem with schedule. Okay. Good customer service. Okay. I know the word city. Uh -huh. I have docu documents in regulation. All right, very good. Okay. So the benefits are of the benefits that you would bring to the company is that you know the city, you have the legal papers, the documents, all right, good customer service, you have no problem with the schedule. All right. So those are like really good benefits for the company. All right, thank you. Let's see. Um who was in the group of doctor? Who was in the group of doctor? Nobody was uh, in the group of doctor. Oh, Elvira. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi. I mean, I mean, the name, 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 Edwin. Okay. And, uh, and Trini. Trini. And Trini. All right. So. Yes. Very good. So guys, tell me the benefits that you could bring to the company or the hospital or the clinic if you are hired as a doctor. Okay. Uh, I am listening to and maybe Edwin help me in the others. Okay. Perfect. Correct. Okay, no problem. Uh, for benefit, and I can bring in my position in the doctor. And I could take care of people, maybe it's one. And another word is could be available 24 hours on the chief. Wow. Or, or anytime. <laughs> wow. I, <it's> <laughs> it, for me, it's only this. Okay, very good. Very nice. Thank you. What about Edwin? Tell me, Edwin, some other okay. benefits, and then Trini can okay. tell me something okay. else. Okay. Uh, the more benefits are, um, could be con uh, could be especially in the plastic zero zero ah, surgery. surgery surgery. Oh wow, you're a specialist on plastic surgery. Oh my goodness. Col Colby, this is uh, this is prevention. Okay. And Colby, con continuity continuity of car of car. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Trini, okay. anything else, Trini, or everything is fine? Any other benefit, uh, Trini? Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no. Three different. I, 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 yes. Okay. All right, Trini, very good. All right, let's see. I have here um, the teacher. Who had teacher? Daniel's group, I think it was. Oh, my group is call center agent. Ah, okay. Who was the teacher's group? It's uh, group number one. Uh, me teacher with Marixa and Marlon. Ah, okay. So what are the benefits that you could bring to the company or to the school? I have a pedagogical training. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I have a methodology by, based on the student progress. Wow, Hilmar, interesting. I am passionate graduates with desire to teach and learn more every day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Focus on short and medium term results. All right. Uh, motivate children. Wow, you're a good motivational person. Nice, interesting. All right, Maritza, anything else besides what Hilmar was saying? 
Yes, son las mismas. Yeah, no, anything else, Maritza? No tiene más, uh, no tendrá otra por ahí, Maritza, no? Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, let's see, who had um, call center agent? Me picture, my group. Oh. Okay, Daniel, very good. Tell me. Tell me some benefits that you would bring to the company. Okay, uh, the benefit I can bring to the company is is I can speak three, two, um, two or more languages. Wow, Daniel, excellent. I have clear communication. Okay. And, and continue, ever you can continue, please. Okay, ever tell me more. Okay, Daniel, thank you. Uh, the others, uh, the other benefits in what I can bring to the company are is the I could be used as presets to focus about goals and mm, we are work in, uh, in teamworks. So you're a team player. All right, yes, very good. Okay, that's a very good benefit that you would bring to the company that you are a, a team player. Very good, thank you. Um, what about sales executive? I think it was Jorge, Vicky, and who was with, and Carlos Valberto, all right? Tell me about okay. that. Okay, este, yeah. with my experience in sales, um executive uh, and with my no no knowledge about the product and service i could be the way for bring to the company more effective customer and win the market international international market wow carlos valberto vicky and jorge impressive very good <laughs> Okay, thank you, teacher. Excellent, very nice. All right, what about receptionist? Who had receptionist? Nobody had receptionist. Teacher. Yes, Jasmine. Uh, my group, the okay. position the recognition. Okay, and who was in your group, Jasmine? Uh, Carlos Melgar and Nancy. Okay, okay, very good. So Carlos and Nancy. And uh, Jasmine, tell us about the benefits that you could bring to the company. Bueno, hicimos ahí una pregunta. Sí. No sé si Carlos la, las quiere decir o las digo yo. Como se guste, Jas. Yo creo bueno. que Carlos está como un poquito eh, enfermo, me parece. No estoy segura, pero si gusta las dice usted, Jasmine. Bueno, entonces dijimos, when hearing me, I will bring a good experience in customer service. Okay. I have bilingual secretarial studies. Wow, bilingual secretarial studies. All right. I can speak English. I hand, handle the rules of etiquette very well. O sea, reglas de etiqueta, o sea. Yes, etiquette. Yeah, you, you know about etiquette. Very good. Nice. Uh, good reading and good personal presentation. Oh, my goodness. Okay, nice. Okay. Very good. I like that one. Very good. What about credit analyst? Sí, sería solamente. <laughs> very good, Jasmine. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, the last group who had credit analyst. Okay, me teacher. Okay. Credit analyst. I would be a great employee because I have analysis capacity. Oh. I can use spreadsheets and other programs. Yes. I can do analysis of economic evaluation. Wow. And I know the products that the bank offer. 
Very good. I like that, Johnny. Very nice. Who was in your group with you? Uh, Ma Mariano, Mariano and Marco. Mariano and Marco. Great. Okay. Very nice. I like that. Very good. Excellent, guys. Good job for everyone. Okay. All right. So we are going to move on here, guys, with the next page, which is this one. All right. I think it's on page 13. We finish this. All right. The presentation. We just finished talking about that. So let's go on here. Uh, this is way too big here. All right, it says, I will be able to talk about my work experience. How long have you worked in your company? Have you occupied different positions? Okay, now it says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice it. Lo vamos a hacer al revés, all right? We're going to do it um, upside, I mean, the other way around. I want you to read it first, okay? So I just want to pay attention to your... Um, pronunciation. So, um, Edwin, can you be Julio? And Maritza, can you be Ana? Okay. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at the Unilever for the five years. Actually, I worked in the company from 2011. 2011? 2011 to 2016. 16. I quit because I was offering a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was, it was just for a short period of time. I was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for long. All right, thank you. Very good. All right, Jorge. Argueta, uh, can you be Julio? And let me see here. Okay. And Marisa, uh, sorry, Marisa read already. Sorry, 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 sorry. And um, Mariano, can you be Ana, please? Okay. All right, Jorge and Mariano, thank you. Okay. Uh, tell me about your work experience. I work at, at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in the company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happening there? I was used for a short period of time. I was used for eight months until my project was done. Then I can I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. You come back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Perfect, thank you. All right, uh, let's see, two more. Someone that wants to read it, raise your hand. Ahí está su manita, so I can see you. I need two people to read, volunteers. Me too. Uh, yeah, Ever and who said me? <coughs> It was Ever, and who's the other one? Ever, you are going to be Julio. I need someone else. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. Thank you. So, Ever, you are Julio. Ever, your microphone is off. 
Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was, was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no work since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they haven't been for long. All right. All right, guys, very good. Okay, I'm gonna take attendance right now. And then I'm going to read the, the uh, conversation for you and with you, okay? Let's see. I have Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Carlos Gualberto Rodriguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Eh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present. Thank you. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present, teacher. Nancy, yeah, you're here. All right, uh, Romeo Alexis Rodriguez Joaquin. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. All right, Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Thank you. And Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. All right, guys. So let's go back to the conversation here. And I'm going to read it to you. Okay, it says, um, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Now, checking uh, some of the words here, we have experience. That's the pronunciation, experience. All right. Um, then we have, antes de irme con los verbos en pasado. Acuérdese los números, 2011, 2016. Another word is quit. Okay, this one right here, it's um, quit. All right, that's the pronunciation, quit. And this one is experience, all right. Then I have, uh, let me see. Ah, since. 
independent All right, that's pretty much the words I want you to pay attention to. Y vamos a poner estas, but I'm going to put them in pink. All right. Another one. Uh -huh, tell me. Which one? Ah, okay. Boy, boy. The, the pronunciation. Yes. No, it... Ya voy, ya lo pongo. Uh, up and I just... All right. And then we have... What me dijeron? Ah, this one, right? Until. All right. Las que están en amarillo no son verbos. Los que están con rosado son verbos. Okay. Vamos a ver primero the vocabulary that it's in yellow. All right. Experience, that's the pronunciation. Quit is the pronunciation. Until is the pronunciation. Since and independent. Okay. Do you understand the meaning of experience? Yes. Everybody understands experience? Experience. Yes. yes. What about quit? Experience. Yes. That's right. Thank you. What about quit? Do you understand Salir. what quit is? Salir. Dejar. En este caso es renunciar. Dejar. En este uh -huh. caso es renunciar. Quit. All right. What about until? Hasta. Hasta. Very nice. And since? Desde. Okay, yes. yes, no vamos a decir signs or no sé, otra forma, since, all right? And independent, do you know what independent means? Dependiente. Yes, all right. Ese es la, el vocabulario, digamos. Aquí okay, hay otro verbo. Teacher. Hola. Teacher. Hi, Barney. ¿A dónde, perdone? En la segunda que habla Julio. Ajá. Uh -huh. And you have not uh, worked since you came back. En la que está sombría de rosa. Sí. What happened there? Esa. Happened there. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahorita vamos con esas pronunciaciones. Happen es suceder o pasar, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, cuando vemos la pronunciación con ed. Y esto lo vieron en el básico 3. Si vienen conmigo, o no conmigo, sino que con el, el, pro, el programa en sí, el pasado se ve en el básico 3. All right? Ya estamos a punto de irnos al intermedio y no podemos seguir diciendo work it, ni offered, ni happen it. All right? Acuérdense que los verbos en pasado regulares, o sea, todos aquellos que terminan con ed, tienen tres pronunciaciones diferentes. All right? Entonces, el primero, que sí termina con ed, pero termina en k antes de que usted le ponga la ed, y esto ya lo vieron, entonces usted va a decir worked, como que fuera una t la que está al final. No va a decir, I work it at Unilever. Decimos, I worked at Unilever. All right? El otro verbo que está abajo, que está en rosa también, también termina con ed, pero hay una r. Offered. D. Oiga, hay una, como que fuera d, una d al final. El sonido de la d. D. Offered. All right? No es la misma que worked. Es diferente. Offered. Y la otra también termina con ed, ¿cierto? La escritura, pero antes de la ed hay una n. Happened. También suena como que fuera d. Nos falta, por ejemplo, si usted, el típico verbo de want, decimos wanted. Esa sí se va a leer completa, como que fuera el ed. Acuérdese que no es una E la pronunciación, es una ed, wanted, needed, all right? Acuérdese que son tres pronunciaciones. Entonces, acá decimos, I worked at Unilever for five years. And what happened there? I was offered a new job, okay? And you have not worked since you came back. All right, entonces, ojo con esos verbos. Siempre que veo un verbo regular, en pasado, obviamente, 
Póngase a pensar cómo va a sonar ese verbo. All right. La minoría suena work it, offer it. Esas son la minoría que usted le pone ed al final. Ok. Any questions? Questions, guys, about the pronunciation or anything else that you have in this conversation? No? Um, and yes. The... How do you say independent? Independent. 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 Yes. Very good, Maritza. All right. A ver, entonces, como alguien que me lea la primera oración solo para revisar la pronunciación del verbo. Quien quiera. Mi teacher. Ok, please. Tell me about your word independent. No, donde no. dice Ana, en la primera, donde está en rosa, I. I working. And. Un for por five years. Ok. Actually, A ver, eh, just es, es I worked. I, I worked. worked. Ajá, I worked. Esa es la pronunciación para el verbo work en pasado. All right, very good. A ver, alguien más Una que me lea. Esa, ¿verdad? Perdone. Termina como que es ese. No, I termina worked. como que fuera T. Sí. Como que fuera té de sí. tomate. Sí. Como que si usted lo, lo dijera así. Así, así. así como lo acabo de escribir ahí. I worked. worked. I worked at Unilever for five years. Ajá, very good. Alguien más que me lea donde dice Julio. And I worked. Okay, muy bien. What there. Happened. And what happened there? Muy bien. All right. Alguien que me lea donde dice I quit because I was offered a new job. Uh huh. Someone to read that I sentence? Because I, I quit because I was offered a new job. In Very good. Excellent, Mariano. Very good. A ver, Jonathan, si me lees oración. I quit. Um, <clears throat> no, 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 no. En el primer párrafo de Ana, al final, I quit because I was offered, lo que está en rosado. Oh, I quit because I was offered. Offered a new job in Panama. Excellent. All right. I was offered a new job in Panama. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to look at some um, time expressions or prepositions that we need to use. All right. For example, from and to. You're going to use from and to when you have the beginning and the end of something. All right, for example, if I tell you the English class, our English class is from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Or we can say, for example, our English course is from um, January 25th to February 20, I don't know, me lo voy a inventar, 21st, okay? So we use the prepositions or the time expressions from and to when we have the beginning and when we have the end of the event or whatever we're talking about, all right? When you say for, the preposition for or the time expression for is for a period of time, okay? For how long? For one year. Usted me dice, ah, teacher, yo estudié inglés por un año. I studied English for a year. Or I went to Mexico for three months. Or right, es un periodo de tiempo, for. That's when you use the preposition. Until is another preposition or time expression that means hasta. 
All right, until I am bilingual, I'm not going to stop my English classes. All right, since is desde, yo le puedo decir, desde cuando empezó a aprender inglés, usted me dice, ah, I, I began my classes since last year. All right, uh, then it's like, entonces, all right, then I came back, so that's like, not really a time expression, but anyway, it's there. And then you have, I have not, but they have not been for long, all right? It's like, long is like a period of time too. All right, so I'm gonna move this. I'm not gonna use that one. Okay, ahí individualmente vamos a hacer these questions. It says, when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? So, hay dos preguntas en una. Number three, why did she quit her job um, in Unilever? And have you ever done independent jobs? La uno y la uno punto uno. Y la dos están en la lectura. La tres is about you. All right, so let's answer those questions, please. La van a contestar individual, les doy dos minutos y revisamos. All right, let's see. What about number one? When did Anna start working in Unilever? From 2011. From 2011. 2016. She started working at 2016. All right, so she started working at, I mean, in Unilever in 2011, and she stopped at 2016, right? Very good. What about number two? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? She was a new job in Panama. Yeah, okay. She was offered a new job in Panama. All right. Or she had a new job in Panama. Very good. Uh, let's see. Carla, have you ever done independent jobs? Mm -mm. In your case, no. Carla, have you ever done independent jobs? 
No, teacher. Okay, all right. Elvir, what about your, uh, in your case, Elvir, have you done independent jobs? Yes, I yeah. have one independent job. Oh, all right, perfect, very good. Yes, uh, one is startup, maybe say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, all right, very cool, nice, thank you. All right, what about Marco? Have you ever done independent jobs? Um, yes, I am electrician too. Okay, all right, so you work independently? Mm, no. Uh, the first job is uh, Monday to Friday. Okay. Or Saturday, but I have other job uh, mm -hmm. with other partner. Okay. Uh, of electrician. All you right. Ah, oh, okay. I hear you. Very good. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Now, here it says how to use time expressions or prepositions of um time. All right. Here we use. A ver, ¿qué me lee eh, this one? Use esas dos primeras. Who wants to read those two? Hi. Okay, Maritza, thank you. Use for plus period of time. I work in Diana for seven years. Excellent, very nice. Use since plus a specific point in the past. I have worked there since uh, 2005. Five. Excellent, very good Maritza, nice, all right. Uh, the other two sentences guys, who wants to read the other two sentences? All right, Mariano, thank you. Use from to state the start and end of time. I state from there from January to November. Very good, thank you. Use, so, uh huh, continue, continue. Use them to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until uh, 2011, then I quit. Very good, yes, all right. And the last one, Vicky, can you read the last one, please? Use until the, pardon, to mark the end of an activity period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was over. All right, very good, thank you. All right, so this is what we're going to do now. We are going to work on this exercise, exercise five. It says read about Nicole's work experience and fill the blanks using for, since, from, to, and long. All right. This is exercise number one. Esto lo vamos a hacer en, el, en los grupos. All right. What I want you to do as exercise number two, when you finish this, I want you to make sentences. One sentence where you use for, another sentence where you use since and another sentence where you use from and to. No vamos a hacer una de long, vamos a hacer one for four, one for since, and one from for from and to. All right, so that's exercise two. Esto lo van a hacer primero. Terminan esto, and then you'd make your own sentences. Si gusta, me, me escriben en el chat cuando hayan terminado para yo más o menos estimar de sacarlos a todos de los grupos y no interrumpirles, all right? All right, guys, let's go to the same groups. Edwin and Marlon.
Hi. Carlita, did you finish, Carla? Carla finished, yes? Yes. All right. Alexander finished too, yes? Finished. Excellent, very nice. Uh, Tired, Alexander? Que estoy recién operado, pero que estoy moviendo despacio. Oh, my goodness, Alexander. Okay, very good. Daniel, today is your 10 minutes. Okay, teacher, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, and Alexander, tomorrow you're 10 minutes after class. Me voy a despeinar. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, Elvira. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Let's see. Let's check this together. I'm going to just share it with you here. Okay. Uh, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Uca University. She studied there. From. Uh -huh. from. From 2005. From to, 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 to 25. 2011. 2011, all right. Then, uh -huh. then she worked in she Morsa for until no. seven four? years. For seven years. Seven For seven years, uh huh. Seven years. When? Since she was a since child. Since yes, she was a child. since she uh -huh. was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did she not did have to wait much to make this dream make come this true. Dream come true because the man who was the yes, because the man who was the manager. For, for almost 15 uh, um, years, retired, se jubiló, all right? His name was Gonzalo, and he worked there. Thanks. No. Until. Oh, espérame, espérame. And he worked there. Yeah, uh-huh. It's not since, uh-huh. Since. Today. Since, since 20, uh, uh, until 2015? 2015. Right. Okay, very good. Today. Today, yeah. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from, 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 from Monday to Saturday. To Saturday. Monday. And she loves her job. She, she has work not there. worked there long until. Long. Long. What's that? What's that one? Long. Long. Ah, she has no work there long. Okay, yes, you're right. But her team supports her. Yeah. Okay, very nice. That's that's a nice team. Um, any vocabulary from these reading guys that you may not understand, or everything is fine? Teacher. Yes, Johnny. I don't understand scenes. Because I I think mm -hmm. I, I can use since when I say is a year. For uh, example, uh -huh. two thousand twenty-two. Yes. But uh, in this exercise, mm -hmm. in the First and the second, mm -hmm. second line. Yes. Uh, since since she was a child, why? Uh -huh. Porque es desde que ella era una niña. Ah, que como desde había visto momento. que aquí había el ejemplo solo de cuando se decía. De años. No, no necesariamente. Usted dice ah. Es lo que le digo. Yo he estudiado inglés desde hace tres años. O sea, se remonta a un periodo de tiempo. All right. A ver. 
Tenemos acá since, all right? Specific points in the past, um, Johnny. Ok, puede ser un año específico o un punto específico dentro del pasado o en el pasado. ¿Verdad? Que que diga un año en sí. Sí, no, no necesariamente. Es como el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Desde que ella era una niña. Es un, un, un momento o un, un, un momento específico dentro del pasado de ella, ¿verdad? En este caso. Ok, Johnny. Ok, teacher. So not only for years. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Con la pronunciación de donde donde están los 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 use los usos los use eh, por ejemplo Oxley o si me podía repetir las las pronunciaciones de los arriba en el cuadro de arriba. Ajá. De estas. Es use. Ajá. Es eh, ajá. Esa es la primera. I use for use since o you since. from ajá since sí you la from? primera es for el otro es ajá. since sí. el otro es from to el último from y to verdad y luego tenemos ajá. then then and, ajá until el último ajá All right. Until. El último yes. es until. Until. Yes, Alexander. Very good. Yes. Until. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Thank you. All right. And then you were supposed to make some sentences. Okay. A ver. Let me see here. Voy a ver. El grupo uno. Gilmar, Maritza, and Marlon. A ver, Marlon. Tell me one example using for. For. Marlon is not here. Marlon? Marlon? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes. Marlon no here. Yeah, Marlon me escucha? Hola, Marlon? Tiene mute. Uh, you have your microphone muted. Marlon, su micrófono está apagado. All right, that's okay. Maritza, tell me a sentence, please, using four. I studied in United States for 10 years. Okay, for 10 years. I like that one. Very nice. Thank you. Gilmar, tell me another example using from and to. Ah, ok, Marlon, no se preocupe, es ok. Para Mosca. Ok, Marlon, that's ok. A ver, Gilmar, are you there? No, no está Gilmar ya. Ya, yeah, I studied. Ajá. Uh, from. Uh, 20. Uh -huh. to twenty fifteen. Fifteen, twenty fifteen. Okay, 15. very good. Yes, thank you. All right. Uh Trini, tell me one example with since. Is it con since? Sí, verdad? Okay. I have work. Uh-huh. For my uncle since then. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Edwin, another sentence, please. You sing um four. Edwin? Edwin, can you listen to me? Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, I, I have worked for my uncle since June. 
A ver, esa, yeah, all right, very good. Pero ahora oh. con, con four, Edwin. Um, mm. Es como la primera. Four. Ajá. ¿No hicieron alguna oración usando four, Edwin? ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Es, dice, no, es que sí, usa las dos. Sí. Esta otra también. The girl I, went I for come. a long period I... to her grandparents. Ok. All right, Trini. Ok, that's fine. All right, let's see. What about John, Nano, um, Elvir, what about from and to? Do you have one? Sorry, for the what? For the oh. sentences that you wrote using from and to. Oh, yes. Uh, let me see. Um, I start work in the project first week from December to uh, January. Okay, that's fine. All right, sounds good. Johnny, tell me one, one of your sentences. You choose one, Tony. I mean, uh, Tony, Johnny. <laughs> me? What? What, teacher? Sorry, Johnny, a big truck just went by. Tell me again. Uh, with four, until? You choose, I told you, uh, you can choose, yes. I worked in UNASA until 2015. Oh, okay. Is that a real example? <laughs> yes. All right, I thought so. Very good. Okay, Marco, tell me another sentence. You choose whichever one you want to say. Uh, use what word, teacher? Whatever, you choose. Whatever, Any other ones you, uh -huh. um, I, stud, I study electrician and then mechanics of sewing machine. Ah, oh, very good. Interesting. So you use then. Okay. I like that one. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Mariano, give us another example, Mariano. Whatever sentence you want to tell us. Okay, teacher. Uh... No estoy seguro si está correcta, pero... Pues. Ok, it's ok. I retry to play soccer since I have a pain knee. Ok, since. All right, yeah, no, the sentence is good, Mariano. Just uh, remember the pronunciation is since. Very good, thank since. you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, very good, that's fine. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, like a sprinting, you mean? What? I don't know what you're asking me right now, Mariano. I'm sorry. Que si está bien hecha la... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's correct. Yes, yes. Only the, the pronunciation is since. Sí, yeah. yes, yes. All right. Very good, Mariano. Excellent. Let's see here. Uh, what about Carlos? Eduardo, can you tell us one of your sentences? Hoy gana El Salvador. <laughs> really? Están reventando quit. Oh, my goodness. Creo que porque llevan récord perdiendo. Pero... Oh my goodness, Marco. It's correct, Marco. It's correct. You winning una escoba. Uh. Oh my goodness. Oh no. So sorry, but I, I don't believe it in the selector. So sorry. Marco, necesitamos que esté no. aquí al Milka. Yeah. Don't go, don't uh, go to Qatar. Sorry, teacher, sorry. That's okay, that's it's fine. It's the commercial. I know, thank you. <laughs> that's nice. And Amilcar is not in class today. I think he's feeling sick. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's see. Let's continue then here with another one. Uh, let me see. I think Carlos Eduardo is not around. Um, Carla, can you tell us another sentence, please? Um, I am studying English since May 11, 2021. 20, oh, really? Okay. Is that a real example, Carl? Is that a real sentence? 
Yes. Ah, oh, all right, interesting. All right, guys, very good. We're going to, I know me faltan algunos, but that's okay. I wanna see this before we um go, and this is what we're going to start um tomorrow. Let's just read this right now, okay? Uh, it says, I will be able to fill in a job application, provide a specific information related to work experience, okay? Now, here the question says, have you applied for a job position recently? What is specific information about your work experience can you provide, all right? Now, here we have this. It says, read this segment of a conversation between an HR representative and a new employee. HR representative is the Recursos Humanos, Human Resource Representative and a new employee. It says Alan and Blanca, all right? Now, right now, I just want you to pay attention to the questions, not the answers, all right? The questions that Alan makes. Number one, it says, what is your social security number? Number two, when were you born? Number three, where did you work? Or what did you do there? Five, when did you work there? Next one, I think it's six. Do you have a university diploma? Uh, the last one, do you have any chronic medical condition? All right, so these are some questions that maybe if you guys go for a job interview, they may ask you or you, you need to fill it out when you um apply for a position all right and they ask you to do these forms all right now tomorrow we're going to go over this information questions and answers and then we're going to fill in this application for employment okay we're going to do this in groups so we're not going to do it individually all right so you guys ask each other about this information all right so here remember that they are paying attention a lot about the simple past all right por eso es importante que usted pueda pronunciar, pronunciar perdón, los verbos en pasado regular obviamente también los irregulares all right but it's very important for you guys to pronounce it properly I'm going to stop sharing my um, book and I'm going to take the last attendance. Today, uh, Daniel Antonio stays uh, 10 more minutes and the rest of you may go. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez, Carlos Gualberto Rodriguez, Present. Daniel Antonio Luna, Present. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez, Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas, Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Teacher, una cosa. Eh, fíjese que solamente desde que terminemos estaba viendo que la respuesta que estábamos hablando con Alexander al principio, a mí también me sale mala fíjese, en, 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 en el área de las tareas. La cuatro. La cuatro. Sí, sí, ya, ya igual yo intenté con el juego del punto, con la mayúscula al principio, y me sigue dando mala, no sé si hay algún mal sí, no. problema. Maritza, ¿usted también? Sí, a mí me dio error también. ¿Y ya, ya probaron no. mayúscula, punto final? Ya. Yo, ya. yo voy a probar más noche, a ver si me sale, porque no me salió. Es la tarea número cuatro. La número, la número tres. Cuatro. No, la número dos. La número dos. Literal cuatro, sí. Número dos, literal cuatro. Vaya, déjeme reportarlo ya. para ver si eh, hay algún error en la plataforma para que ellos lo puedan corregir, porque ya son varios que me dicen que no se las toma bien, ¿verdad? Ya, ya vieron, ya lo pusieron revés y derecho. Vaya, a ver, lo voy a tomar en cuenta, oye. All right, thank you. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. A uh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. 
Present. Jose Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Present, teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Romeo Ale... Nancy, sí, ahí está. All right, um, I was in. Eh, Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present, teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present, teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. All right, guys, very good. I'll let you go. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Only Daniel stays with me for a little bit. All right, bye guys. Thank you. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye, good night. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, see you. guys. Good night, bye. teacher. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Teacher, mi conexión falló hasta ahorita. Me pude volver a conectar. No se preocupe, Jorge. Yo ya le puse aquí que ahí estuvo. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bueno, good night, Jorge. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Alexander. Have a good night. Aha, uh -huh. Daniel. Hello, Daniel, teacher. Perdí How are you? Lapis. Daniel, I lost my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it. I don't know where. Ya lo voy a buscar bien. I don't know. I don't know where it is. <laughs> All right, Daniel. So, how are you? How was your job today? How was your work? Um, I uh, this day not working. No, not work. I, I am on take off. I start work at um Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Yes, Sunday at night. Uh, uh, night shift. Uh, night shift. Okay. <laughs> But uh, I am happy with because only work to That's right. uh, tonight and, and start my annual leave. Oh, yes. All it's right. <laughs> That's great. Very nice. All right. Yes, cool. Yes, yes. You're mm -hmm. gonna rest a little bit. Yes. <laughs> um, Daniel, are yes. there many people in your job um, COVID positive or not really? In my job, no, it's um, only two or three people. Okay. Not, not my, my, my company is, is uh, the, the, uh, the people who's taking COVID is from the, another, the same base, but another uh, is military personnel. I am I am civilian I am civilian civilian uh, civilian company. Okay. In the in the in the in the way in the way uh, as I work I work mm -hmm. is military people and civilian people. Okay. Ah. And uh, in the in the in the problems is in military people. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Interesting. You know, only two or three people it, it no no work until you stay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Now the uh, Daniel, but you work for the like air companies, right? Like the flights like um international flights or only for military flights no only for military flights only for military this is the base of navy of usa oh mm -hmm. it's navy uh, i receive i receive uh, airplanes from navy 
from US uh, US military army 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 and um United States Coast Guard okay United States Coast Guard and diplomatic diplomatic uh, uh, diplomatic for from the embassy embassy of El em, oh. embassy Youth Embassy from El Salvador. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, oh my VIP, goodness. VIP people. <laughs> oh my goodness, Daniel. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. In a helicopter. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's nice uh, it's, uh, work. <laughs> okay. All right. Are there many people working in that company? And the company, civil, civilian company, we have. 75 people. Oh, really? Yes, okay. yes, in the civilian and the mini in the military. Another another 15. Okay. 15 people. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Military. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. all right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every job is so interesting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes. i mean sometimes we just you know what we just kind of think that everybody has a normal job but there are so many jobs that we don't know about you know and it's interesting to discover them <laughs> all yeah, right yeah, yeah. This, this is nice for i like it i like uh, this this job because i never i think never happened <laughs> right Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Now, do you get more flights at night or during the day? Oh, um, at night is no, no one flight, one flight at night, and and at the day is more, is more occupation. Okay, it's more, so it's, it's busier. More, it's, it's this year. Yes, mm -hmm. at night is only for is only for stay, stay here. Okay. How, how how can I how say in Spanish for estar ahí con tu mujer solo por hacer acto de presencia. All right. Uh, at, at night, it's not it's not a lot a lot uh, uh, work. Uh -huh. It's relaxed. It's relaxed. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you have to be there how many nights? Two nights in a row or three nights? No, in the, in the normal in the normal structure is I I work uh, four days a uh, a day shift rest four days and work four days a uh, night shift. Okay. In, in a in a normal in the normal structure. Okay. At, at, this, at this time only only work tonight and I go to my to my vacation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> cool, Daniel. Very nice. Okay. So you do need your English a lot, Daniel, in your job. Yes. Yes. I need. I need a lot of English. I need a practice a lot yeah. of English. <laughs> but you're doing very well, Daniel. I mean, you're doing fine. Imagine <laughs> right now you're only in basic. I mean, you have. If you continue. I mean, you still have one more year. So in one more year, you can improve a lot more. And that's very good for you. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank that's you. nice. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Um, I don't know if you had any questions, Daniel. I just started work talking about your job because I find it interesting. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No, I, I, You're uh, fine, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, Daniel, I'm going to let you rest. Thank you so much for staying with me tonight. And I'll see you okay. tomorrow. All right? Okay, okay teacher. Good okay, night. Daniel. Good tomorrow. night. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Bye.